So when you're going to hang by French cleat, the first thing you need to do is go to your table saw and cut the bevel at 45 degree angle. Next I'm going to drill a couple holes in the French cleat and this will be what I attach it to the wall with. I'll come back here in just a minute and countersink these so that the screws will be below the surface of the wood. I try to put it as close as I can to that beveled edge for something like this. Now if you're drilling into studs in your wall then you will need to measure out and mark where the studs will be at on your boards. But for me I'm attaching to a solid piece of wood so this will work just fine like that. Here's what you're going to need in order to hang the with the, with the uh, French cleat style system. Of course you're going to need your French cleat and I have it here. And on the back I've already gone ahead and drilled holes through this. You just saw me do that. Gone ahead and marked the center of this board. And I, you can't see it but I have a center mark right here where I want it to go. So I'll line those up. I also have a level. You will need a level to make this work. Uh, I recommend one that's at least twice as long as the piece you're hanging. Okay, I'm joking, but that's what I have, so that's what I'm going to work with for this. One other thing quickly, and I did this off camera. You saw me cut the French cleat at the 45 degree angle, but I went to the miner saw and trimmed off like a blade width or less off of this so that when it sits in here, it's got a little bit of play. You hear that? Very little play. And that's just so it'll help it sit in here a little easier and it won't hang on the sides and give you problems. And remember, you saw me countersink these two. It is important that you get these screw heads flush with the surface or even a little bit um, sunken in there so that it won't affect the picture or the project you're hanging on top of it and cause it to not be flat against the, the cleat. So I've got a mark there. I'm gonna line up my mark here and I'm gonna go ahead and start this one on this side. And I went ahead and sunk it up pretty good and, and got it up there tight against it. And this is where our level is going to come into play. And we need to... That there looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and put this other one in. So now that your French cleat is up here, you're you're pretty much done. All you gotta do now is put your project up there. So let's go up here, hang, and perfect. And also, if you need to take it down, very easy to take French cleat style hanging system off the wall. Just pull it off. So I wanted to provide you guys an update on the shop and on where the house is at and as since we're in our transition from moving from our, my old shop to the new shop and the new house. So here I'm walking where eventually our, will be our driveway. A few months ago I rented a bulldozer and bulldozed all of this. And you can see here as I took a little bit of uh, some footage of me trying to bulldoze this. This is my first time ever using a bulldozer. It was a lot of fun and it was definitely an experience that everyone should have. But after all, it turned out really good. And you can see, if you see that uh, cell phone tower there in the back, that's something we'll need to focus on later. But here you can see that, that uh, T-post in the picture. And this is what it looks like afterwards as I'm walking up. What will eventually be, like I said, our driveway. We'll have the shop on the right side of it and the house on the left side of the driveway. And here I'll show you a few more pictures. Again, highlighting that cell phone tower. You can see it back there and how, how many trees there are there. And then this is after we get the land cleared. And you can see I have staked out where the shop will be. And here you can see that the shop is finished and up. And again, you can see the, that cell phone tower in the back. So this is just a short update on where we are on the shop and the house and in my transition. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, y'all will see me next time.